You can buy or sell just about anything online, and now you can pay for it that way, too, with what's known as a digital wallet. You never actually see the money no. anywhere. It's just this virtual. It's convenient, but are they a safer choice? WMAR 2 News' Mallory's Foste is working for you. Being a makeup artist is just one way Claudine Gallagher earns her income, but her payment doesn't come in cash or check. She counts on a couple apps when it's time for customers to settle up. It's 2018. I don't know who does checks anymore. Sorry, mom and dad. But cash, it's, it's a lot more hassle because there's really no paper trail. By 2020, people are expected to make about $726 billion in purchases using digital wallets such as Venmo, Zelle, PayPal, and Apple Pay. We want speed and convenience and sometimes there's a price to pay for that. In this case, it may be security. These apps are typically connected to your bank account, debit, or credit card. And Mike Boyton of the Better Business Bureau says now scammers are finding creative ways to separate you from your money. Perhaps they'll pay for an item. Uh, you as a seller, in good faith, take that uh, mobile app payment, that di digital wallet, but by the time you ship it, the buyer can cancel that payment. Another risk, many digital wallets don't offer the same fraud protections that come with a credit card, but Claudine has her own way of playing it safe. I always, always, always make sure the digital payment clears before I even do the service for them. The Better Business Bureau says to protect yourself, only transfer money between friends, and when you can't do that, at least have your wallet linked with a credit card to get protection when you pay.